Good morning and welcome to Friday Live. My name is Ashley Hay. I'm a mixed media artist and art business coach. And today in the studio with me, I have the lovely Natalie Parrish from Bag End Studios in Queensland. And Natalie, welcome, welcome, welcome. So wonderful to have you with us again. It's always a good chat. Hello, how are you going? And we've called today, see us at the show, because you've yes. got a pretty Oops, big event sorry. coming up shortly. Yes, we do. We're um, in the mad throes of organising it. I'm just getting Michelle to help me because I'm hopeless at this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There you go. Oh, look at that. So Michelle expect. from the Artist Tree is with you as well. So that's wonderful. And of yes. course, you're in your lovely space. So organising a show for the first time from your fabulous new space in your Um I know. It must be so true. Michelle said that the other day. We were busy and I was like, ah, <laughs> oh, whinging and moaning. And she goes, yeah, look at you, though. You're actually organising a show not on your back veranda. <laughs> yeah. How, how amazing. So... That's really awesome, isn't it? It must be nice to actually have the space to be able to spread out. Yes, definitely. And it's been well utilised over the last couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, of course, the Brisbane Craft and Quilt um, Show is coming up on Wednesday the 12th until Sunday the 16th of October and it's open 10 till 4 daily and you guys are going to be on stand A16 so right in A aisle as people come in the door. That's correct and we have um, at 10.30 the demo, 11.30 the mermaid and at 12.30 we have the fantasy porthole. Fantastic. I think I've actually got some I've got an image of those so I'll see if I can quickly find it and pop it up for you so um there you go so that's up now Natalie so um just showing that lovely mermaid what time is the mermaid again 11 30 and uh, the fantasy sea port hole is 12 30 awesome so they'll be back to back and then uh, the demo going overboard is at 10.30? Yes. Wonderful. And they just look fabulous. So if you are going to the show, make sure that you get down and go, go to the Bag End studio stand first and have a look. See us at the show, right? That's the motto. Yeah. Um, and we've got quite a few of the Down the Rabbit Hole girls um, coming. It's one of the things we do together every year. We do try to catch up but the show seems to be um, a good one for us to get together um with michelle is doing the mermaid and gaynor is doing the fantasy one so it's really nice to see um the girls doing their own workshops brilliant so that will be awesome i wish it was there <laughs> yeah i know well we haven't had a craft show well, not up here. We did one last year, but, yeah, we haven't had the Brisbane one on since 2019. No, so <laughs> Perth hasn't had one for ages either. So, um, yeah, so uh, let's take a look at some of the things because we're going to give people a sneaky peek of what they're going to see on the stand. Um, so if you aren't able to get to the show in Queensland because you're not over there like me, we're going to give you a sneaky peek of um, some of the brilliant artwork that Natalie and some of the girls have actually done um, for the craft show. So let's take a look, Nat. Okay, I'm just going to relieve so, Belle for a no, minute. I'll just right. recap while you um, go up the ladder there and um, I know... <laughs> I know that um, you're going to be showing us that table of stuff. So very exciting. <laughs> and so Brisbane Craft and Quilt Fair is coming up Wednesday the 12th to Sunday 16th. So very, very soon. You can get your tickets on sale now online. And, um, yeah, so get a, get along. If you're in Queensland or thereabouts, it should be, it will just be so wonderful to have a craft fair and actually get along and see all of that. So there is the table. Um, so, Natalie, just explain 
um, a little bit about what we're looking at here. So, of course, you actually put these displays up as part of the stand and a lot of them are sea themed. Uh, yes. So the idea is um, because we have too much stuff, as you do when you're a power texer and a crafter, um, we've made the wall bigger for the craft show and these will be sitting above the shelving. So we can, we, if we already attach them to the core flute, we can hang them high. So this will be the back wall display. Um, and yeah, we're still working on some pieces to get the artwork up there. Uh, some of the kits, we thought we'd revisit the kits because the kits are a really good way to engage with uh, Powertex um, and come up with project ideas because sometimes mm. that's the hard part is just coming, where do I start? What do I want to do? Uh, exactly. And also, so the kits are just a really easy way to start, aren't they? And apply some techniques to something which is in kit form. Yeah, that's right. And also with Christmas coming up, we were thinking uh, they might make some really good handmade Christmas ideas um, as well as um, start inspiring people for uh, PowerTex Christmas. Perfect. Let's take a closer look and zoom in on some of these because some of these kits we've had for a while, but um, some of these kits we've had for a while, but you have just done some really gorgeous pieces there that just really highlight how beautiful they can actually be. So we've got um, the seahorse, of course, Natalie, which let's start with the sea theme and okay. take a look at the seahorse. So I have Michelle, so I might um, just switch it around again and pick it up. That's easier. Yeah, Hold on. sounds great. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Oh, no, turn it to this way. Am I on? So the down the rabbit hole, of course. Um, down the rabbit hole and bag end have those make and takes. So you can actually book them online now. So bookings are actually open for those make and takes. So if you are in Brisbane or you're planning to get along to the show, then definitely um, go online to Bag End Studio and you will find um, find the booking links there. So all the links to contact Natalie are actually um, in the description. So check that out. Right, Thanks, Ash. look at that seahorse. So one of the things I do when I was making the kits up originally was um, going off track which is not unusual. So I've tried, <laughs> I've tried to do a variety now and try and use some of the things that are in the kit. So if you buy the kit, the majority of what you'll need will be in the kit, except maybe the colors um, and maybe a few bits and pieces um, from your own stash or from your own PowerTech stash. So for example, exactly. all this kit comes with all these little beautiful bits of coral and the only bits I've added are the sand and balls and I uh, sprayed it with Bista and probably, yeah, no, I think that's all Bista. Um, and then hit it with the hairdryer to get the crackle effect in. Um, and of and, course and the Bista and sand and balls are just so gorgeous to have in your stash mm -hmm. anyway, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, sort of like, you know, well, my whole stash is every Powertex product, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but, you know, it's nice to have any of your sprays around that uh, it just works so well with the PowerTex and that crackle effect. Mm. So that's such a, it's such a beautiful kit. I'm not sure. They were going to be seaweed, but I thought they looked really pretty up there. They so do. even right. Yeah. So, you know, even with these pieces, everyone will do something a little bit different because mm. you won't position everything the same. Um, and, mm. of course, to get that little bit extra, which wouldn't come in the kit would be stone art because I always have stone art in my kit. Um, and I, but you could, you don't have to, you know, you could probably wedge it with something else if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, if you've got stone art. I do art, you've love got, the dimension that you've actually got in the piece, Natalie. So you've used stone art to create that dimension and um, those yeah. lanes. Yeah. Yeah. So some people who don't use stone art might use a, um, wedge something else in or a little like there's there's enough of this material in the chippies 
Um, so you can do that scrapbooking technique, cut out the chippy and you can push in the chippy, but I'm too lazy. Um, I'd rather <laughs> just get a wad of stone art, stick it in, it gets stuck at the same time. It's just so much faster. You don't have to nice and instant. Around. Yeah, I'm a bit instant. Um, yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so we've got someone on, we've got Nina on from Kansas. So she's watching. So shout out, Hi. hey, Nina. Wonderful. Thanks for watching. And hey, Rosemary from Esperance and also Susan. So thank you for watching. If I haven't mentioned you, then uh, please leave us a comment and say hi. It's always nice to know who we're talking to. So um, cool. Natalie, that seahorse is lovely. And of course, they are available from any trainers from you at Bag End Studio and of course, um, from me at Powertex Australia. So let's take a look at one of my favourites that we haven't seen for a while and is definitely revis worth revisiting. And that is your gorgeous owl and pussycat. I just love that piece that you've done. So this one's attached, so I'm going to get Michelle to go down to look at it because I haven't, I've, I've already attached it. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, yeah, so I have about four of these left, but um, I, in the kit form, but it, it, they're a cobwebs kit. So we can also get them from Charmaine up in, on your side of the world in uh, WA. Um, but yeah, that one I embellished a little bit more because I've added a, a honey pot and I added the stone art faces um, and I added the sail but you know that you can I've, I've blogged these too so these are still old blogs but you can still go on and go through my blogs um, which I think are on your website as well as my website yeah absolutely uh, so yeah um, yeah so as well as the Friday lives where we've sort of shown some elements there is the full blog that Natalie has done for this gorgeous piece. And it is just stunning, Natalie. And I think the reason it works so well is because you've used the blues on the boat, the bluey green, and then you've used the contrasting oranges and purples that just really pop. The gorgeous owl and pussycat, it's gorgeous. Yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed doing that one. Mostly, sometimes I didn't. <laughs> It can get frustrating. Um, Usually there's a bit of an ugly stage about halfway through, isn't there? Oh, it's so to totally true. And, again, that's one of the things with the show. Like it's really hard for us at the show. Um, as you can see, Gaynor over there, if you want to quickly just spot Gaynor, is working away quietly um, putting the show together. Like look at all the work that goes into a make and take. And the reason is because you only get an hour, which really boils down to 45 minutes. Um, Natalie, and those make and takes are such good value. Look at the size of those. How much is that Sea Portal um, make and take again? 35. That is yes. such good value. That is um, just such a huge piece. And I know you're going all out there with the mermaid as well because what is that piece? Is it how big is the mermaid? Uh, the mermaid is 30 centimetres. I don't have the one that's in the make and take, but because we're going to go in the make and take, Michelle will go through a couple of different uh, options of how you can use, you know, start with the basic form and then apply different Powertex products to it. So she'll tell you how to do. We're doing stone art as this part of the body, um, but there'll be a bit of fabric. But we'll also have examples so how you could just do it if you only wanted Powertex. So if you don't have the clay at home, Michelle can show you how you can just do it all um, simply with uh, fabric um, and also the 3D flex. We've got some with 3D flex. And at all, the so make and takes have been done at such a fantastic price because it's experiential at the show. So it's yep. really um, done at cost and um, is such great value. And the idea is that people can just get hands on and try out the products. So, oh, yeah. And we have a sale, like, so we have like, even the kit for this so if you can't come to the show um, or you're at the show and you want to do more these make great um, presents for your girls mm. for Christmas um, or even better if you're a grandparent uh, Gaynor did that I think with her um, grandkids and they made their own so the her grandson he made a, di a, a dolphin and her granddaughter, it's on the Creative Tribe if you want to have a look, she did the mermaid and they were so chuffed. And it's a really nice, 
experience for grandparents who might be getting their kids at Christmas time and to do craft with them. So we're yeah. very big fans of that intergenerational crafting. Excellent. So now let's go down and have a look at, um, we'll change the pace up. Let's take a look yep. at the Alice in Wonderland hat, which I, oh. as every, I've just got to put myself up first for a second here, Natalie, because yep. um, as everyone can see, I wear these amazing neck pieces, which are actually created by Natalie. I love them. So this is one of them. I've got another two pieces and um, everyone asks me where I get them from and I always <laughs> tell them. So um, big <laughs> shout out to you, Natalie. I absolutely love these. So um yeah so this is the um mad hatter so and did you want to just talk to us a little bit about that and yeah um again because i really love working with charmaine from cobwebs with her mdf ideas um so this is the idea for the hat came from charmaine and then i just turned it into you know do your own thing um, so you can get like your own crafty bits and pieces um, that you might have in your own stash or, you know, your other favourite product. I, I like Stamperia, but everyone has different ones. Um, but I do like the wood chips. and you might, But you could use real cards too, you know, so there's lots yeah. of things you could put in your own. Um, I've done the background. So I was thinking about the Mad Hatter hat from the movie one with Johnny Depp. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I liked that stencil, which I think was a Stamperia one, but I think Charmaine also has a similar one um, just to get that velvet fabric look. Mm. Uh, yeah, and I've stenciled it, of course, with easy structure because I still, out of all the stenciling paste, I still find the easy structure. It, it's, it not only dries really firm and solid, but it, you get crisp and it doesn't tend to go underneath your yeah. stencil. Yeah, you do need a thick stencil though. Um, we have, we, yeah, so there's like two different types of stencils. The thin stencils aren't as good with texture paste because they're, they're just too thin. They're for just doing paint over the top. Um, yeah, but anyway, I, so, yeah, I did that. I, I think there's a bit of terra green in there. Um, and even on your little embellishment pieces, so, like, that's just a, they call it a chipboard. It's already pre-done and all the colours. Like, I, I don't, I didn't colour anything in, but I do go around the edges and you can use, if you've got those blender tools and you like blending off your stamp pad, that's fine. But I also just do it with a bit of colour tricks because I always have lots of colour tricks, colours. And then I turned it into a key ring holder, basic. So it hangs, I put a bit of stone art on the back to use as the hanger. Perfect. Yep. And then, so it will hang. It hangs on the wall and you can hang your keys. Lovely. Off it. And, of course... So you've also used the stone art to add the chippy shapes to give those dimension as well. Yeah, so I've probably done a bit of both where I've added um, maybe transparent, maybe a bit of stone art. Um, I did try a lot. of. I was testing out some glues on this one because this was my first piece, but uh, I do like using the stone art just for the, how fast it can be. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That Actually, instant cool. stick is so convenient, isn't it? Yeah, so even – oh, and also with even the wood chips, I still cover all the back in the wood chips with um, uh, Powertex, so it's sealed. I'm mm. a bit fussy with that. Not, uh, yeah, not everyone is, but if, if I'm going to sell pieces, I like things to be finished. So yeah, even, even the back – so what I would do is just try and cover the back, and if it sticks, it sticks. If I need to add something else or I want it raised higher, I'd use stone art or – yeah. I think I and called this one. That, sorry, it is that attention to detail that really makes the difference in a piece. So, yeah. you know, and your pieces are really gorgeous, Natalie. So, oh, yeah. Fighting up now, the back. We haven't seen the white rabbit for a while either. So, let's showcase him while we're talking about Alice. So the white rabbit is again on Natalie's blog and you'll find that blog on uh, the Bag End Studio website or also on the Powertex Australia website. And again, that is a Cobwebs Craft Studio kit and then Natalie has actually done that gorgeous face with stone art. 
I so know the pool you... it's got a bit of a crack, but I can fix that up with stone art. See that? Yeah. He's been around, been at a few shows. He's been trashed <laughs> a little, but that's the thing. You can come back. So see if you've got a little crack, I can come back in there. I'll put in a bit of stone art and I'll mend it all. And you won't even know, which is one of the beauties of Powertex, being able to refix up your pieces. Um, and mine get a fair bit of hard work because they're display items for Powertex. So, yeah, yeah. so all of these um, kits are available. Um, so, of course, you've got the gecko, the birdhouse, the violin there. You've got the steampunk fireflies. There's yep. loads of different things. Natalie will have them all at the show. If you're not going to the show, though, you can grab them online or from your nearest trainer. And um, it just gives you a really good basis to start with. There's the dragon and the dragonfly, so awesome. And, again, that dragon is actually on the blog as well. So, um, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that one I got carried away with Powertex pieces and not and not the pieces that are in the kit but um there is a nice blog um, that charmaine did using all the pieces from the kit if you'd rather use the kit pieces um nice. i also think i've got a picture of someone that did it with a lot of stenciling in the background and made it purple that was beautiful um mm. yeah and yep. from time to time the trainers over here run uh what we call the wall art project uh sorry the wall art workshop so things like the the um or sometimes the chinese dragon we try to not do that one because it's just a bit harder um that would be but, totally complex for a day's workshop uh yeah unless you know the group so i have done it in a day's workshop with a whole group <laughs> at that very arty group um but this one um sometimes i have owls but i'm just out of stock of owls the dragonfly that's awesome and the gecko so it's a wall art project and you can pick which one you want to do so it'll be like you might do the dolphin or the turtle or the seahorse so I know Michelle does yeah. them on a regular Brilliant. basis yeah, yeah um, that's a great idea so people can choose which one they would like to do at that workshop that's great yeah 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 at first I was mm. terrified about doing that but, <laughs> but it actually it actually works um and so, then the other Christmas idea Oh, sorry, I was just going to say, let's talk Christmas. I can't believe, Natalie, that we're talking Christmas. I, I, I feel know. like we're still back in May or March. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. I'm so, yeah, we've probably got a few angel classes and stuff coming up we haven't um, put together. But for the show, because we're doing gnomes, um, and gnomes are a great little Christmas gift as well that you might want to make, plus they're just damn fun to make. Um, but we can turn them i haven't got any big ones i sold them all last year so they're a good little item um but yeah michelle's quickly whipped up this little santa out of the small gnome oh, uh, i love yeah. that that's so gorgeous yeah how cute so that you know another fun class now i believe charmaine in western australia and carol will be looking at doing um santa and gnome classes i know charmaine's already sold one out but have a yeah um, Fantastic. Yep. And then the you and I both still have some of these kits. They're a bit yep. different. I think yours is different to mine a bit, but same, same, but different. Um, and we've already got that somewhere in your um, – I did one in purple uh, – your YouTube, I think. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see if I can find it and I'll make sure it is on YouTube and um, certainly coming up to Christmas we'll make sure yep. – get that one out for everyone um and i'm pretty sure i blogged it anyway yeah, yeah. so the, it's nice it's, though to see the video isn't it yeah 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 definitely yeah. i think we had fun on that one <laughs> <laughs> we did do i want to watch that again um and of course <laughs> we also still have if you want to get like super into it and um you're feeling very adventurous you do have the beach houses i think both you and i still have a lot of beach houses for some summer fun. The only one I have at the moment is the lovely Helen, who's also going to be on the stand this year. Um, again, another Cobwebs MDF. Uh, but I yes, actually she's... love that kit. It's such great value and it's just, I know it's a little bit complex. It takes longer than a day, but um, it, it's um, 
because it's almost like three projects in one, isn't it? Because you build all the different ones. Yeah, and the thing I like about Helen's is it just shows that she loves getting bits. So she's all of this is done with um, transparent and all stuck on. So see in there, she hasn't used any stone art at all. She's just transparent, stuck it on, probably put another layer over the top, even up here. It looks she's great. Got, it's very beachy. Yeah, it's also got a map on it at the back, <laughs> which again she's probably put down with um, either. So we either put down paper with transparent or the um, glossy. Yeah, glossy. I love it. I love the easy coat matte or glossy. Yeah. So, Except yeah. if you're going, you know, you're going to add other bits. So you've done all these other bits. If you just put that transparent down while it's still wet, put a bit on, you, you it's faster. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, yes. And of course, we talked a little bit about um, journals and things as another Christmas idea. Did you just want to touch on that quickly? Uh, yeah, so I've got so we just got little simple ones here at the moment, um, which just fun, easy journals. Um, journals are like if you think about them as your canvas. I'll get you two others in a minute. Um, but yeah, for the show, we've got little thirty-five dollar journals that come with a power text. Uh, um, again, it seals your cover. So if you put your first cover on, make sure it's sealed. With power text and then you can come back over the top and stick all your yeah. pieces um another really fun one to do with your grandkids they love doing that yeah uh, just such a nice simple easy little project isn't it so i've uh, just yeah. got nina from the us is saying um how do i get hold of these kits in the us so um, Nina, oh. basically, um, you can definitely get hold of Powertex over there, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. So play with that. Uh, Natalie, did you have anything you wanted to say yep. about that? Um, yeah, so some of the extras, if I have to send to um, the US, I buy, there's pouches. So it depends how much I do try to fit as much as I can in a pouch. So I think the smallest pouch is about $40. Um, yeah, so basically I just have long-winded chats until we fill the bag. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, Nina, maybe contact Natalie. So I'll pop up Natalie's details now so that um, everyone knows how to get hold of Natalie. So, of course, you can connect with Natalie on Facebook um, or um, at her website at Bag End Studio. And she's also okay. very happy to talk to you directly, like she just said. Um, okay, so also that like for your journals, like you can start using all your chippies. So oh, you can get fabulous. You can get way. Oh, sorry. Get. Oh, sorry. Get, I'm not listening to the hand signals. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Australian themes on those. So the seagulls and sea theme, and then the sort yep. of Australian outback with the windmill. So I'm using that scrapbooker technique where they normally stick cardboard behind. Yep. Which, which is, you know, again, probably cheaper to do that. But uh, I've got stone art and I like the stone art. So it's it's really solid then. And because you've sealed it all with it, see how it's far more, which solid. means it's not going to, yeah. Um, you have to leave it for a few weeks and varnish over the top, of course. Um, that's just a bit of Muslim cloth in there. But now it's super solid so they are awesome. really love journals yeah and of yeah. course pots yep. you can make little terracotta pots which i'll be doing at the demonstration showing you how to use molds and sticking on stamper uh sticking on uh stone art onto pots using stamperia molds and weller instant change of pot stick a plant in it handmade christmas yeah, absolutely. Handmade Christmas. Yay. And so, of course, everyone is feeling the pinch at the moment with the mm. rise in interest rates and the inflation here in Australia. Everything seems to have gone up. But um, what a great thing to do. Use all your crafty bits and power techs, uh, art supplies and make some handmade gifts. They are beautiful. So, um yeah, lots of fantastic ideas there, Natalie, that people can make. So thank you so much for that. Now, 
Before we do finish, we should actually talk a little bit more about Bravo and the Art Bra um, exhibition, which is coming up. So, of course, you guys have an artist call out at the moment and those art bras or bra-themed artworks need to be entered to you by the 31st of October. And yes. then the exhibition will be from November the 26th to the 4th of December. So get your entries in. And the, even if you get your entry in, um, it doesn't have to be finished. So get the entry in and the 31st is just, is just the end of the concept time. And then you've got still got that two weeks before. Sorry, it's about three weeks, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got three weeks after you even enter to still get your piece finished or posted um, to us, which would be really cool. Um, Michelle today got good news because we got another sponsor. So we've got two sponsors now. Um, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, so we've got prize money. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Even more reason to get your entries in because there's prize money. Um, yeah, so we're still trying to get a few more sponsors on board. Um, no, I think she's you've got some other uh, people or have already given some bras to Ashley, which I believe might be coming over our way to enter back into the exhibition here, which would be yes, fabulous. So, so, Natalie, I have an art bra from Rosalind Sherman, which is just gorgeous, that oh, I've got no idea why it didn't sell in the auction because it is phenomenal. Um, but I held on to it to be able to show people. And so this is the perfect opportunity for me to now send it over to you guys to um, the second round and it can be sold for charity. So, yeah, very excited to be able to pass that on to you guys. Yeah, cool. Um, and we've got a few, quite a few raffle prizes So because we do so many workshops here now that, um, you know, macrame and the resin earrings and all the workshop people are putting in something so there'll be a raffle prize. I think we've even got a performance coming up from the Silk Rags project. Um, so she'll be here with a, a performance largely about uh, centered around how do you talk to your friends when you suddenly realize they have cancer and they're dealing with it because most people mm. don't really know how to do that. Um, so mm. yeah, it's a whole little mini musical about how to um, do that. Yeah, wow. conversation. Sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I think that's going to be. Um, I think I'm going to need tissues. <laughs> oh. But it's supposed to be funny as well. Yeah, so yeah, it'll be, uh, it's supposed to be quite a point performance. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I think that, yeah, so quite excited. Like obviously Michelle's been working away in that in the background as well as the craft show while I've been away yeah. hiking. Huge um, undertaking because I know what these events take to put on. So it's not just a simple thing. It's a huge commitment. And so what a great thing for you guys to be doing as well as the craft show. So, yeah, yeah. awesome. And can I just don't overthink it? That's the other thing. Lots of people have yeah. been coming to us going, oh, I don't know, no, no. And then within five minutes having a chat, um, they've come up with an idea. Uh, yeah, so I don't, it doesn't, yeah, you don't, it doesn't have to be a world's masterpiece. It's an interpretation for you around that theme of bra and it can be as broad as you like it can be any medium um, I've got some sewers now thinking about coming on board because they didn't realize that were that was artistic <laughs> to do that on a bra <laughs> you know yeah so um, yeah don't overthink it and hopefully we'll get a few more um, people trainers doing a workshop on just how to harden your bra if you want to go down that pathway yeah excellent Sounds brilliant. So much happening um, with you guys and, um, yeah, it will be nice to actually eventually get back over there and see you see you all again and um, hopefully now that will be possible maybe in the next year. Um, so yeah. this year I can't believe, like I was saying before, I can't believe we're already in October. My goodness. So we've got to make the next three months count. If you guys are feeling like me and you're feeling like you're still back in March, let's make the next three months count for creativity and get in and create lots and lots of fun things and have a really cracking end to um, 2022. 
Right, just start it. If it don't finish it, you've got it for next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Natalie, as always, it's absolutely wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for sharing your gorgeous artwork and all your ideas. And to um, Michelle and Gaynor as well, who I know are with you today, um, you know, the... the um, you know, the down the rabbit hole girls, there's such a great community of people there um, creating artwork. So if you are in Queensland and you can get down to your Ringapilly, go and see Natalie at Bag End Studio in her new art space. Not so new now, um, no. but, but still in the first year. So um, very exciting. And, um, yeah, as always, great to chat to you. So, again, if you would like to connect with Natalie, just connect with her on Facebook or on the website. And, of course, you can create and connect and share with us on the Facebook Powertex Australia Creative Hub. And Natalie also has the Creative Tribe in Queensland. Now, Natalie, something new for me that I've been doing for a couple of months now is I have been um, doing some like artist interviews on uh, community radio and I've been really, really enjoying that. So people can listen in from anywhere in the world and you can, um, it's actually every Sunday afternoon. So um, I'm doing with IPL Radio actually featuring Australian arts and music. So it's been, been a little bit of um, fun, a bit of a learning, <laughs> new learning curve uh, for what's happening there. Um, but this weekend we've got some incredible um, guests coming on. So I've got Deb Zeba, who's an abstract artist and her work is phenomenal. And also we've got Veronica, who is a local Perth musician. Um, and I'm so excited to meet her as well in the studio. So, um, yeah, so it, it's well, been a bit of a great idea, isn't it? Just celebrating uh, local um, artists, because I think we get buried a little bit in the in yeah. the a picture of things and it's supposed yeah that's why i've got this place inspire people to buy local um and find out what people are doing locally go to local performances exactly so yeah. you know that's what we're all about and that's why i'm doing the yarn as well is to spotlight you know what other people are doing but also the other fantastic thing is that um, the artists are actually talking about, you know, things that have impacted their art businesses in a positive way. So what their struggles have been, their challenges, but also their successes and where they've found and how they've found that success. So, yeah, really interesting having chats. And um, you can catch that from anywhere in the world on iplradio.org online. So that address is up there now and it's also in the description so awesome. yeah <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll um, while i'm packing for the show on sunday <laughs> sorry listen <laughs> awesome so it should be a good chat i'm really really looking forward to it so learn more about powertex of course at powertex.com.au you can also go onto natalie's website uh, natalie did you want to reel that one off so it's bag end uh, yeah, uh, bagendstudio.net. Um, yes. And on there I'll have uh, the other trainers, same as you do, so where we've got trainers all over the place. There's also a craft show, Your Side of the World, where there's some power techs with cobwebs at the Cannington Fair this weekend. Um, and I'm sure everyone's got a lot of uh, workshops um, coming up. Cause I think we've got Sue on, haven't we? Is Sue on at the moment? Sue's got a rusty no, disc workshop on. It's a different Sue, I think. So, um, yeah. Okay. All right. But, yes. So, yeah, please check out the websites and surf around a little bit because there's, um, on both of our websites, there's a lot more, in, there's a lot of information. There sure is. <laughs> okay. From <laughs> Natalie and I, thank you so much for joining us. We really hope that we've inspired you to creativity because that's why we do this and that you have an awesome creative weekend. Ciao, everyone. See ya. Come on for a bit.